just a quick fun video for you and I hope you enjoy but before we get started like how I preface every other video I am looking to get 5,000 subscribers on this channel so if you haven't subscribed do so if you enjoy these videos. It really truly does help me out. But also, I have an itch on my nose. Once we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark, I will be rehauling my Patreon account. As of right now, I just don't have the time the availability um, to have like rewards on there for you guys. So as soon as I hit that 5,000 subscriber mark, that will be changed and I will start putting out at least monthly, if not weekly, Patreon videos. So stay tuned for that. For today's video, we have already decorated our home for fall. If you can't tell, we have a mustard blanket. We have a lot of fall decor up and about. And I plan on filming an ASMR video on that for you guys. I'm even dressed in a sweater, if you can tell, but sadly, it does not feel like fall where we live. We live in Tennessee, and actually in middle Tennessee, and it is about 95 degrees outside right now, and yeah, it's way too hot to be outside, so I'm going to be inside filming some fall things for you guys, wishing it felt like fall outside. But I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my Trader Joe's fall haul. So my husband and I made the trek out to our Trader Joe's last night, and we got a lot of fall flavored or fall inspired items so I thought it would be fun to just share them with you guys today. We did get a few other items as well. If time permits I'll show you those but for now just the fall related items. So I have everything laid out here. Hopefully some of these sounds are crinkly for you. Here we have the organic pumpkin spice granola bark. And my husband actually picked this item out, which surprised me because I am definitely the chocolate fan in our family. But on the front, it says, pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with 66% cacao dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin On the back, it says Trader Joe's Organic Pumpkin Spice Granola Bark is a layered delight. Made in small batches at the foot of the Green Mountains in Vermont, we start with gluten-free oats and combine them with the simple ingredients. 
ingredients such as pumpkin puree, roasted almonds, coconut oil, warm spices, and maple syrup. Then we layer it with dark chocolate and top it with toasted and lightly salted pumpkin seeds. Layer by layer, it's a crunchy, chocolatey, and delicious treat any time of the day. I haven't tried them yet, but I assume that they will be very This bag might be extra crinkly, but we got these corn chips that are in the shape of fall leaves. And I thought this was really cute. They're very colorful. They taste just like your regular corn chips, but it's fun if you're hosting party or anything fall related. That bag was a bit louder like I said. We also got the cinnamon bun spread. I don't have long nails. very tasty. 
tasty. I wish you could hear the sound a little better. This says a rich, gooey, honey butter base spread with cinnamon bun spices. I'm assuming this will be very tasty on biscuits or even crescent rolls. You can maybe spread some on the inside and make your own cinnamon rolls. We also got the apple cider jam. My husband really likes apples, so I'm assuming he will like this as well. And it says we can bind chunks of sweet apples, tart apple cider, and the perfect amount of fall spices to create this delicious apple cider jam. It's wonderful on toast, pastries, or used to spice up a pork or chicken recipe. Last week, I made a pork recipe for dinner that had apples and onions and I used to use a different recipe for some reason this time it just wasn't very flavorful. You have to use some chicken broth in there as well and the apples were not as flavorful this time as the recipe in the past. The past recipe I used called for either apple juice or apple cider, but I think I'm going to try to make it again and put some dollops of this in with the pork and still use the apples and onions on top with a tiny bit of mustard. So I'm really excited. This one's loud as well. But we got the fall zucchetti pasta. And it's so cute. It's pasta that's made out of butter, nut, squash. And they're shaped like tiny little pumpkins. was so loud that I didn't want to keep it up for too long. And the last few fall related items, we got a few just fun little gourds and mini pumpkins to stick around. ones were all fairly cheap. I personally like this one. He's a funny shape. We also got, like I said, a few other items as well, but they're frozen items, so they probably won't do best in a video, but we did get some really good looking yogi and some fried rice and orange chicken as well. So I'm extremely ready for the fall weather to begin here in Middle Tennessee. I wish that it was cooler outside already. I will fully admit I've already made one batch of chocolate chip pop 
pumpkin bread already and fall only started on Monday but that's okay I just really enjoy this season and the weather so we also really like apple pie as well that's a really good fall recipe comment down below I would love to hear what are some of your favorite fall foods and it could be something that you buy at the store but it could also just be a fall inspired recipe I know a lot of you guys do enjoy my cooking videos those are pretty difficult to film where I'm currently set up at so that's why I don't get to those as often but I have considered filming a fall inspired food video and possibly sharing my pork recipe with you guys as well as my pumpkin bread so I know today's video was just a short quick little video for you guys but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are nice and relaxed